All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. In the front of us, we have a throne of a king, uh, I believe. This is uh, a Korean king, as uh, we see from the picture. Uh, I have nothing against this person. I do not even know his name. But the whole point is of a person sitting on a chair. There is something Muhammad he said before, and I find it very weird and very astonishing. Muhammad, he have a friend. And this friend, his name is uh, Mu'az ibn Jabal. And he died. And because of his death, the throne of Allah was shaking. Hmm. You know, I don't know why... Uh, why the chair of God or a person who was just a friend for Muhammad? Does it make sense? You see, there's many, many people, they die. And people die every day, regardless how uh, important they are or not important. But human for God is equal, actually. You know, we don't have something is, uh, uh, you know, unless you are a Christian and you believe that Jesus is God himself, and then his his uh, crucifixion was something different. However, even the Christians, when believe, they believe that Jesus was crucified, but nobody believed that the throne of God, metaphorically, <laughs> was shaken. However, in Islam, they are not talking about metaphorical meaning. Even metaphorical doesn't make sense. They are talking because, as you remember, the Quran says it clearly that Allah Himself He have a chair and uh, eight, uh, you know, eight angels they carry His chair. Uh, so this is a physical chair, and as you know, even Muhammad, we can show you tons of reference. Muhammad He said even that His name is written in this chair by the hand of Allah. Allah He wrote in His chair. The name of Muhammad he wrote even the Shahada so this is a physical chair carried by eight angels and those angels even each one of them have four faces as we showed you before story is kind of funny and weird so let us read together what Muhammad he said all those hadith and all of them they are Sahih stating that when the man his name is uh, Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, he died. The chair of Allah. You know. Was shaking. Now I try always to reason with Muslims. Find out why, you know, why, why this has happened. of this man on God this person supposedly he was attacking non-muslims and he died in the field in a fight but there is many people who died too in that fight from both sides as usual it's a war Muhammad attacking people to steal their money People defend their, their, their right uh, against uh, the caravan rider, Muhammad. So this guy, he died. But what is the reason really to make the throne of Allah shake? I would like to see the Muslims giving us uh, their own understanding and why such a thing is happening. I mean, don't you Muslims think that this is weird? And don't you think this is, um, I mean, I don't want to use the word stupid, but it's stupid. I mean, we're talking about God and just a human being. I mean, you know, okay, did the throne of Allah shake for the death of Muhammad? Did the throne of Allah shake for the death of Moses? Did the throne of Allah shake for the death of Abraham? How come your prophet instated only for the death of this man? the throne of Allah was shaking and how can that affect the stability of the of the of the throne of God 
I mean, what happened exactly? An earthquake? Allah was in the earth, and the guy he dies, so his chair start jumping. Allah could not take it no more, so he was so upset, and he could not protect this person, so he was like almost going to break his chair. The wind was so strong because of the death of this person, maybe because they cut his belly and the, the gas came out and went all the way to Allah. So his chair start shaking. Why Muslims don't investigate the intellect of their prophet? Obviously, this man is just making a statement of exaggeration and stupidity. Actually, it's a statement of insult to his God. He is claiming that his God, his throne, is shaking for a death of a man. And who is this man? I mean, it's just one of those who follow Muhammad. Why, why, why a God chair will, will shake for his sake? Once I was debating a Muslim, and I asked him about Muhammad saying that every person he will have 80,000 women for sex. He said, trying to defend, he said, well, the prophet was exaggerating. And he said to me, Actually, the debate is in, in YouTube. He said to me, don't you know in Arabic, we have like something is called the statement of exaggeration. I said, yeah, I know. But this is a, if somebody is lying, <laughs> I mean, this is a lie. You are talking about, you know, show respect to your God. We are talking about God himself. And now you are saying that this God have a physical body and he have a physical chair. Remember, the Muslim believe that Allah is a physical being. You can watch my debate with Dr. Nabil Bayekli and Imam Malik Sar, the, the, the leaders of the head center of, the, uh, of Tennessee. And uh, you will see that they agree that Allah is a physical being. And as we know, Allah don't have a spirit, so he's a dead body. And he is in the top of his throne. And now the throne is moving for the death of a person. I cannot find any reason for Muhammad to say so, except this man, he don't respect the mind of his followers. And the God which he claimed that he worshipped. For this God, anything can shake the hell of him. Even a death of a person who is no one. Except he died for the sake of Muhammad. So Muhammad wanted to convince his followers that the one who died for my sake, Allah throne himself will be moving because of his death. And he chose this name only from between all the Muslims if we ask the Muslims why nobody have an answer and just watch let us see what the Muslim they will say down in the comment about this story it's a stupid story and I asked the Muslims if you want to post any answer was Allah thrown shaking for the death of Muhammad by poison or only the throne of Allah Sheikh for the death of Mu'az or Saad ibn Mu'az. Thank you very much for watching and more videos to come soon. God bless you and miss you all. Bye bye. Thanks.